because I knew there was going to be some incredible speakers, and I knew that although I've given Ignite Talks before, this is a tough crowd. Um, you guys have all seen a lot of really good Ignite Talks, and you've all probably participated in quite a few. And so I realized that I didn't want to actually give an Ignite Talk. What I wanted to do was give every Ignite Talk. <laughs> and what that means is I wanted to give a template for every and I was going to strip out all the content of Ignite and just reduce it down to its templatized version of what it means to actually give an Ignite talk. So, without further ado, I present to you guys title of the Ignite talk. <laughs> Opening statement. Request for permission to converse with the audience about the said title of the Ignite talk. Introduction of the speaker. Convoluted list of achievements and accolades, all tailored to make the audience feel that the speaker knows a lot about something they don't know anything about or something they don't care at all about. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward pause as the speaker waits for the next slide. Introduction, that problem, initial premise, secondary premise, mostly irrelevant premise, desperately included because bullets seem more professional when your questions are free. The speaker reads every word of the slide to the audience for some inexplicable reason. Slide with a chart. Awkward <laughs> <laughs> pause as the speaker can't quite remember why his awkward chart was included, but decides to go on anyway. Admission of frustration. This slide should have been, by all accounts, precisely formatted for this. Explicatives result involving the terms strange native resolution and fucking PCs versus Macs. <laughs> Desperate attempt to achieve coolness by associating with local celebrity. <laughs> Often include statements such as, speaker and the local celebrity are buds. <laughs> Slide with way too much text. Uh, initial attempt to explain to the audience what the slide was supposed to accomplish, but eventual digression into admission that while up here, slides go much faster or much slower than the speaker. <laughs> slide that's too dark to really understand. <laughs> Frustration expressed by the speaker because if the audience could only see the majesty that this slide was meant to convey, they would understand the relevance and importance of the image. Ridiculously arrogant proclamation as the speaker attempts to, to bring things back to where we left off, often using an abrupt change of intonation. <laughs> expletive, expletive, expletive. Slide, admission that the slide was supposed to be included much, much later and is in fact the punchline to a joke that hasn't come yet. Admission and insistence that the slide was provided in the correct order when it was given to the United staff. Icy stare at Brady Forrest. <laughs> <laughs> Desperate attempt to reference a pop culture phenomenon in order to lend additional coolness to the talk. Additional phrases in order to try to make this reference seem relevant to the topic at hand until eventually the slots sort of click into place. Insistence that the audience should disregard this slide because the speaker now realizes that all information here is either a repetition, irrelevant, or has previously been stated. <laughs> Completely useless animation. <laughs> Awkward pause as the speaker realizes he has nothing to add to the completely useless animation. <laughs> <laughs> Final slide, where the audience reiterates the title of the talk, uh, asks for the audience cooperation in moving forward, and tries to impart enthusiasm and uh, look towards the future for some inspirational note. Uh, final, final note about the speaker's biography. Um, to tell the audience where they can get more information involving a Twitter account and a web page URL that's way too long to remember. Final bow. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Expression of gratitude. <laughs>